Hi everybody, Logan Phillips. You're watching this video because you are teaching a computer concepts or a Microsoft Excel, Word, PowerPoint, or Access course that utilizes the SimNet environment. Now you might have taught this class before, be teaching it for the first time, or have taken a break, and you're missing a key piece. And that is how do you get your Blackboard website to your SimNet website so your students can use that inclusive access. So this is method I'm going to be teaching today is the connection or pairing method with the Blackboard website and the SimNet website itself. Now, now there are two ways that you can pair your SimNet environment with Blackboard. We have deep integration, which is you take all your material from the SimNet website and bring it to Blackboard. And we have pairing, where you take your students from Blackboard and you send them to the, to the SimNet website. I'm going to show you how to do pairing. This is my preferred method because I believe that the SimNet environment is much better, nicer, and better organized than our Blackboard web pages typically are. Now you are free to do either method, and in the next video I will show you how to do the deep integration method if you so choose to do that. So the very first thing to get started off, we need to open up two tabs. One tab is going to be our Blackboard site that uh, we'll be utilizing that we'll be pairing. Now, this can be any section, any class that you're teaching, it's going to be the same way. If you received one of my um, Blackboard courses, um, I'm working on those right now, so hopefully some of you guys next semester will be having those. But if you received a Blackboard course, it's going to look something like this. And of course, hopefully without my beautiful smiling face. But again, it's my course, so my head's at the top. So we're going to open up our Blackboard environment first, and we're also going to open up our SimNet environment. Now to get started, you need to have the SimNet course created. So underneath the left hand side, the classes, manage, you should have in here the exact course that you're going to be pairing to. Now this might have been created by copying and pasting from your master course and creating a new section. It might have been a section that was given to you by me or somebody else, but make sure that you have your section in here. Now I'm going to be working with my Computer Concepts Master course. So I have Philips Concepts 2016 Master that I'm going to pair to my Blackboard Master course. Now, I want to make it very clear that pairing master courses does not mean that you can copy these to other courses. Pairing has to be done with every section that you do uh, for all the Blackboard courses. Now, this is the only method that will allow you, uh, you either have to do the deep integration or the pairing to utilize the inclusive access for the bookstore. That way the students don't have to purchase anything and it's automatically charged to the bursar. This is required because every section of every course has to do inclusive access here at Tulsa Community College. So let's go ahead and go to our Blackboard site. And if you're looking at mine, you'll see down here I have a placeholder, a number five link SimNet. Now this is just here as a placeholder. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna start the process of creating a new link, a new tool provider and walking you through this process to pair your students. So let's go to the left-hand side and I want you to go to the very bottom and we're going to make sure that all of our tools are actually turned on. We're going to click on the customization radio button, opening up that drop down. And we're going to go down to tool availability. Now, once you're in tool availability for your Blackboard course, you'll find that there are a variety of tool, uh, tools available from every type of manufacturer. So we're going to use all the SimNet McGraw-Hill stuff. So we're going to scroll on down and you're going to see a whole bunch of check marks on the right hand side. If these are not checkmarked for the McGraw-Hill materials, make sure they are. But some of the key pieces on the left-hand side, McGraw-Hill Campus and McGraw-Hill Higher Education, make sure both of those are checkmarked as well. If these are not checkmarked, you will not be able to create the pairing. So the very first key in all of the pairing process is on the left-hand side under Course Customization, Tool Availability, scroll down, find all the McGraw-Hill pieces both on the right hand column and the left hand column, make sure they're all check marked and then hit submit. So that allows us to start creating the actual link. I'm gonna go back up to my announcement page just to get, start from the beginning here. And I'm gonna come over to my left hand side and I'm gonna create a brand new link that's gonna pair to my students. So I'm gonna come to the left hand side, I'm gonna hit my plus symbol and I'm gonna choose the tool link. Now, I name these things in order. Uh, this is my number five link, SimNet, and this tells my students that they are directly connecting to SimNet. This is where all your assignments are. You can name it whatever you want, SimNet, Direct Connect, all your homework here, click here right now, you know, name it whatever you want. But don't forget to click on the type, 
and we're going to choose a very specific type. We're going to choose McGraw Hill Campus. We're going to make this available to users because if the students can't see it, they won't be able to access any of your assignments. And we're going to hit submit. Now we have this new link here that's created, and I'm going to go ahead and you have to go through this as both a professor and then the students can go through it as a student. So I'm going to show you both sides, the professor side and the student side. So let's go ahead and click on the link to start off with that you just created. And it's going to open up a brand new tab and it's going to ask you a bunch of questions. The very first question is what textbook are you using for this class? Now for us at Tulsa Community College, we're using Computing Essentials. And we're going to type in Computing Essentials and we're going to choose Find Now. Now there's a ton of different Computing Essentials available. Make sure you don't choose like Lone Star or MESA or any of the actual colleges. We want to come down to the one that's ISBN 10 with a blank and ISPN 13 with a blank. Computing Essentials 2017, 26 edition. We're going to choose Select It. Now this is the O'Leary book and what you're going to come to is this beautiful screen right here and everybody loses their mind on the screen because it makes no sense. From this screen you have to click your next button but unfortunately no next button exists. Because at the very bottom of the screen, they have a SimNet SimGrader logo. This logo is actually a button. So we're going to click on SimNet SimGrader because we use SimNet for our computer concepts course, not connect. We're going to click SimNet SimGrader. It's going to open up to this new screen showing the book, showing the extra materials. And we're going to come to the top right hand side and we're going to choose I want this for my course or for my students. It's going to verify, saying, hey, are you sure you want Computing Essentials 2017? It's going to show you a picture of the book. We're going to choose to adopt SimNet. Now, in this screen, I've often had the bigger area not load. I've often had my logo for the book not load. But I've never not had my I want to adopt this to my students uh, buttoned not load. So if nothing else loads but that I adopt it to my students, just click on the adopt uh, link. We're going to choose Adopt SimNet, and now it's a key of where is SimNet courses are you actually located at. Every college has unique courses or a unique SimNet environment that they utilize. Uh, that keeps other colleges from accessing our courses and our cor students from accessing other college courses. For Tulsa Community College, we use tulsacc.simnetonline.com. Now this should have automatically filled, but if it didn't, type in tulsacc.edu. Dot, I'm sorry, type in Tulsa CC and you'll see it fills it in. We're going to hit next and it's going to take you to all the courses that you have access to. Now I have substantial amount of courses here uh, because I've taught, I'm currently teaching and of course I have my master courses. You're going to find on this list the course section that you created earlier in your SimNet environment. Now once you find your course inside this area, we're going to click on that section specific. Now I'm using my Phillips Concepts Master section. And I'm going to hit next. And it, my course has now been, uh, now been paired. So the students can now access this link. So you can choose to return to your LMS or you can go directly to SimNet and start actually modifying your arrangements, modifying the situations, your due dates, changing the class however you want. Now, let's go back over to our Blackboard website. I'm going to start back over from announcements because that's always a nice place to do it. And I can see down here, I have my SimNet link. I'm going to move that up just a little bit so it's easier to see. So the number five SimNet link is the link that I created for my students. Now, in Instructor View, if I click on that link, it's going to bring me straight over to my SimNet environment. And SimNet SimGrader, and it'll take me back to my dashboard. Now that's the instructor side. If I logged in as a student, and I'm going to switch to student view here. So if I'm a student in my class, that link is still available to me. Once I click on it, it's going to take me through the same process. Your students are going to see this screen. Now, it's key to let them know that they have to click on the SimNet SimGrader logo. Now once your students click on the SimNet SimGrader link, it's going to take them to a brand new screen. And this is the create user account screen. I strongly suggest that they use their T number and TCC email address 
but if they don't, it's really up to them. Just strongly suggest it. And once they've done that, they will be able to access the site no matter if they're using the link directly from Blackboard or if they're using the direct link of tulsacc.simnetonline.com. So that's how you pair the courses and how the students will see things on, and how you as an instructor will see anything. Now this is for pairing. So we're taking our students from Blackboard and sending them to the SimNet environment. If you want to do a deep integration, check out the deep integration video and that's bringing the, Black, or the SimNet courses and the homework into the Blackboard and putting it into folders in Blackboard. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, guys, let me know. I'm here to help and I'm happy to come work with you one-on-one. -on -one. We can do a screen share and we can do whatever you need to do. We can talk over the phone. We can do it by email, whatever you need. All right, have a very fruitful day. Bye, guys.